Hello, cinephile. My name is Matt McCucci, and this is my Cinephile Corner, a regular series of quick but insightful reviews of a randomly chosen movie and two minutes of layeth. Some are famous, some are less known, but all opinions are my own. Fire up an audio teeny and listen to the audio waves as they fly through the air. Tonight, we're adapting the format to explore one of the films screened in the Venice Classic section of the 2024 Venice Film Festival, Bend of the River from 1952, directed by Anthony Mann. Start the clock. Tonight, on our cinematic journey, we're diving into to a classic western directed by Anthony Mann, Bend of the River, which tells the story of a former Union soldier with a history of violence trying to hit the reset button on his life, and he teams up with a group of settlers headed for the wild of the Oregon Territory to start life anew, becoming their guide and protector. And as they navigate through treacherous landscapes and face danger at every turn, our soldier, played by James Stewart, must grapple with shady alliances, his own checkered history, and some good old-fashioned betrayal. The film does a stellar job of bringing the rugged expanse of West to life, ramping up the sense of adventure and danger with every frame. However, Bend of the River represents the more traditionalist branch of the Western genre, and as such, it relies on dated tropes and even includes some pretty awful racial stereotypes, some of which are unnecessary, cringeworthy and distracting. Still, it carves out its own path by digging into themes of greed, personal transformation and redemption. And despite not granting as much room to its character study, the movie is considerably elevated by its leading performances. James Stewart delivers another fine showcase of his acting chops and really his eyes and motions say so much more than any of the dialogue he's made to deliver, while Arthur Kennedy also adds another layer of complexity with his morally ambiguous role. Stop the clock. My final rating for Bend of the River is 3 stars out of 5 and my view and recommendation based on Bend of the River is Red River from 1948, directed by Howard Hawks. Thank you for listening and keep on watching. Till the next time from the the film verdict. This is Matt Makuchi signing off. See you soon.